Ten years after Katrina, Moody's has issued a new report on the city's financial health. I'm joined by Tim Blake, Managing Director at Moody's. Nice to see you here, Tim. You as well, Rhonda. Well, overall, you do think New Orleans is in better shape than before Katrina, right? Yes, that's right. I mean, the city has recovered steadily in recent years, and at this point, we feel it's economically and fiscally in better shape today than it was before Katrina. And Moody's did raise its outlook this year on New Orleans to stable. That's right. We have an A3 bond rating and a stable outlook. How, what has helped Katrina make that financial comeback from, uh, you know, where 10 years ago it was just devastating when you saw what was happening in the city? What types of industries and what right. was happening that enabled the city to move forward? Right. Well, on the economic front, uh, one measure that we look at very carefully is taxable property values. And property values have made a very strong recovery in the city, driven by business investment, residential recovery, and overall a sense of improved confidence. And a, a major factor in the stronger confidence is the federal government's significant investment in levy improvements, flood walls, and other measures to strengthen the protection of the city against future flooding. And that's been absolutely critical to investment and recovery in the city. What about oil and gas? Because obviously the Louisiana area is a big area for oil and gas. So yeah. is that a detriment? Yeah, well, there are two, two industries that are very concentrated in New Orleans. There's tourism and then there's the energy sector. And the energy sector certainly has recently had weakness due to low oil prices. And we've seen the city's unemployment rate tick up moderately. It's still a moderate unemployment rate, only slightly higher than the nation. Um, and that's a significant improvement from before Katrina. And then the tourism sector, uh, which is the other very big one, is, is doing very well. Uh, very steady improvements. The number of visitors is still slightly below the pre-Katrina peak, but the, the, the dollar amount of visitor spending is up very strongly since before Katrina, which shows that tourists are spending more when they visit the city. So at, that's good. At the same time, there are a few things that you're worried about, and they, there are some things that are not in the control of New Orleans. So what are some of the red flags, I guess, that you have to be mindful of? Well, sure. Maybe we switch to the, to the fiscal front for the city. So in the, on the fiscal side, um, tax revenues have been doing very well. Both property taxes and sales taxes are up strongly. Uh, the budgetary management of the city is stronger than pre-Katrina. The forecasting is better. Expense discipline is better. Uh, responsiveness to mid-year variances is, is stronger. So those, those are all good things. Uh, at the same time, there's considerable spending pressure for public safety. They've just had a series of raises for the police force uh, to keep salaries competitive, so that's a pressure on the budget. The city's fixed costs for debt service, pensions, retiree health are very high, over 30% of the budget. And then lastly, the last fiscal challenge I'll mention is that the city's cash reserves are quite narrow. So they ended 2014 with a little over 40 million of unrestricted cash. On a $600 million budget, that's pretty narrow. But there's some good news here as well because they're about to get uh, a windfall from the BP oil settlement. Uh, any day now, $36 million is expected to come into the city's coffers. And some of that is actually going to be used for coastal restoration. But in terms of future costs for infrastructure, is that an issue as well? Yeah, well, the, the city is certainly has a fundamental vulnerability to major storm events. That hasn't changed. But the the mitigants, the protections against that uh, have been very significant. The federal government spent almost $15 billion on flood protection in and around New Orleans. Uh, so that's very significant. Um, at the same time, all state and city governments that are vulnerable to storm events, they're dependent on the federal FEMA program. If there is an event, FEMA comes in and pays for you know, cleanup, repair, rehabilitation. So that's that's another important mitigant. And so for, for these reasons, we think the city's bond rating is stable. Tim Blake of Moody's, thanks so much. Thank you very much. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.